Hey folks, Allison here. I have a question for you. When was the last time somebody said, hey, how you doing? And you answered, busy. I do it all the time. I admit it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. But we're always busy, busy, busy because we're always doing, doing, doing. I want to talk about two concepts here, doing versus being and giving versus receiving. I think it's really important we understand and make some distinctions there. All right, we all have things that we have to do. There are things that we want to do. And we're told that it's better to give than to receive. But, got to really think about that. Because if all we did was give and we don't cultivate the ability to receive, it's a real bummer to give something to somebody and they don't want it or appreciate it, right? So, we have to start thinking about this and maybe thinking about our answer, busy, busy, busy. Because I think we're, we have to cultivate a way of being and not always be doing, all right? Thinking about, you know, we talk about like, you know, heaven, it's, go, it's gonna be a place of being. I've often told like some of my more energetic clients, like you realize when you get to heaven, you're not gonna be running your own department, right? All right, we have to cultivate receptivity. There's a reason that the church is always re referred to in the feminine, all right? Because God is the Father who gives and we receive. Now, of course, we want to imitate God and we want to give, and that's a beautiful thing. But it's very important, I think especially because I've seen a lot of families or a lot of people get overly committed in giving, whether it's charity work, whether it's volunteer work, maybe they start a ministry or a, a charity or something. <clears throat> we can get too caught up in giving and we don't, we lose the ability to receive and if we can't be receptive, we can't really hear God, right? If we're always busy, it's like we're talking over him all the time. So think about that, doing versus being. And how do we cultivate a way of being? We need quiet, all right? We need to be around beauty. We need to just be able to listen to God and not always be yammering and, and petitioning God, but listening listening to beautiful music, reading good literature, being, all right? And also learning how to receive. Now, again, most of us are so busy giving all the time. To cultivate the ability to receive is really important. And a simple way of doing that is saying thank you. Just a simple thank you. Somebody offers you something or gives you something, say yes, say thank you, because there is such a joy for that other person to be giving. And I think also sometimes it takes humility for us to receive, right? And that's a beautiful thing. That's, that's a virtue that we all want to grow in. So doing versus being, giving versus receiving, cultivating receptivity, learning how to receive from God, be, being aware of our blessings, that's really important too, to be really aware to take that time every day to be thankful and to ask God to give us more, to, to, to really bless us is really important. So I hope you find that helpful. Again, in heaven, you're not going to be run, running your own department. You're going to be being and you're going to be receiving the beatific vision, all that's good, beautiful, and true, and things we can't even imagine. We've got to start cultivating it here. Hope you find it helpful. God bless you.